What's going on everybody? Welcome to episode 3 of our Tottenham Career Mode and today we start the Premier League season off and we've got three games on the docket for us today. We've got Newcastle away from home, Fulham at the new White Hart Lane I assume in the game. I'm not exactly sure on that and uh, an away game at Manchester United. Three games that Tottenham did win in real life. We're hoping to match those results here but before we get anywhere excuse me we've got ourselves a transfer offer to Sissoko who um, is valued at 6.5 we're gonna get 6.6 .6. I just want him out of the club to be honest I think he's one of those players who only plays when he's ready for a new contract and then he gets going and he's ready to go and then he falls off a cliff again and I think he's one of those players and I absolutely hate that kind of attitude so hopefully he goes a couple loan moves being rejected here um, unfortunately and then a couple who are going out we tried to get some of the lower players the 60s 60 to 69 overalls most of them trying to get them out of the club and loaned and then players who I think will get quite good um, uh, Walker Peters as well kind of players like that but we've also got a um, offer here we're gonna delegate this one uh, we're gonna start at 14.8 don't accept it for less than 12.1 we'll see and hopefully we can maybe move on for a left back if we can get him out and Sissoko out that will leave us money wise at quite a bit um, with a bit of wage budget so we may go after a left back we'll have to move on see some of our other left back options but we may get ourselves another left back Maybe one we can move forward. Um, Rose looks like he's out. Sissoko is gone. We're going to collect 4.9 million of that. 13.4. The delegation got for Danny Rose. So he may be out. And then we've got an offer for Vincent Jansen as well. So all the players we want out the window. Um, looking to get out of here. And between 9 and 14. I don't know, I'm not sure about 14. But we'll, we'll, we'll start here and see what happens with Vincent Jansen as well. Because we are... After Martial has come in, we're pretty flush now at striker with Harry Kane. Martial can play there, and we've still got Lorente. So everything going quite well here. And then after the Newcastle game, we'll see if we can go ahead and grab ourselves a left back, um, depending. Um, I don't know if we want to get one really, really good, better than Davis right off the bat, or we want to build one up. We'll see. Um, loan offer for Walker Peters. Do want walker peters to get some game time and he seems like he'll get quite good but we've got our first game here it is newcastle a game that tottenham did win in real life so hopefully we can do something about that and vertonian goes nowhere so let's jump into it. we got tottenham and newcastle let's go all right let's see if we can get this premier league season off to a good start hopefully we can grab three points on the board here uh the goal of course for the season is to finish top four but i think with the score squad or the first team we've got at least we can push we can push pretty high up um but if it gets a little bit too easy we'll have to change oh it's in <laughs> it's in we'll have to change the difficulty but early on it hasn't been that way but an early early goal here for us right off the bat is lucas and he's finished that home off the post and it's that left back there who came in and let Lucas run. I'm not sure who he was, but he rose up, tried to stop the player with the ball at the top of the box. Look at this finish. The swirl on that just curls right inside the post. Off the post and an early, early goal for us and a good start here. We wanted to quiet this crowd down. This is uh, one heck of a crowd. They're always here for Newcastle games. And can we get another goal right off the bat here? We are on legendary, but Newcastle gave the ball away again. And it's, oh, it's a good save. Dembele got there, but couldn't hit it hard enough. Harry Kane. Ah, it's a bad ball from Harry Kane, but it's going to fall to him, and he's going to crack. Oh, it's off the post. Harry Kane, it fell right to him, and he would like an early goal here in this season, get himself an August goal, and kind of set himself up for the rest of the year after a campaign with England here, trying to get him off to a good start. Bad ball. Bad giveaway here. Back out. It's Dembele. Deli Alley. Good football here from us. Deli Alley. Can he get it to Kane? He can. It's Carry Kane in some spaces. 2 0. And 13 minutes in. I'm not sure what this is. Dallas had given us a run for our money and we had to work 
to beat Juventus there, but a 2-0 early, early start for Newcastle here. And look at this, there's a good ball out there, and Harry Kane is in space, and that's a good finish right there for Harry Kane. No chance for the goalkeeper. It's a good finish. I love these new highlights. Swirl on the ball looks really nice, but an early 2-0 lead here. Can we get it out wide? Yes, we can. It's Ming Song. Cuts back inside. Son has a crack here, and it's fallen to him, and it's fallen to Kane. It's three. Surely we are on legendary here. Hold on a minute. I can't have messed this up too badly, surely. We started on legendary. Um, hold on. Select sides. I cannot be off of legendary here. I'm not sure. We're going to have to check after the game, but early 3-0 here and I'm not sure what's happening but we are all over Newcastle here it's 3-0 no chance here him and Song cuts back inside and has an attempt it's blocked away and it's fallen to Harry Kane who hits that first time it's a good finish and it's the second goal in just a couple of minutes for Harry Kane and Newcastle already down and practically out here Shelby did really well here it's blocked away, and it's going to fall to him, and it's a good finish. Ah, we got the touch on the cross, but it's blocked away. It's come back to Muto, I believe that is, and he's finished really well. And it's 3-1 here. They're within two. Can't panic yet, of course. It's a decent move here, and it's a good block, but it's just fallen to Muto. He's snuck in front of Vertonian. It's 3-1 here, and we just got to keep our nerve a little bit. One more out there. It's Ben Davies. Good ball. Can he get it one more? Yes, he can. It's Harry Kane. Harry Kane takes it in. Harry Kane, can he find him? Yes, he can. Oh, it's in off the par. In off the bar. Not the post. Off the bar. And it's 4-1. And uh, <laughs> quite the show we're putting on here to open this Premier League season here. Harry Kane, can he get the ball across? Yes, he can. And it's hit first time. And it's just smacked off the goalkeeper's arm there. And it's finished in the back of the net. Deli Alley with the goal. 4-1. There it goes, Deli Alley here now into space. Deli Alley just skipping by. Deli Alley finds him Ming Song in space. Son! And it's five. And that's surely game over now. 3 1, it was kinda. We'll see. But 4 and 5 1, that should be game over. Tottenham 5, Newcastle 1, and a great finish there from him and Son. But it's all about Deli Alley here, who skipped by and then dragged the wing back out. And it's a good finish there from him and Song. 5 1. All right, guys, so we've got three debuts here. It's Rabio in midfield coming on for Dembele. Martial coming on for Imming Sung. And then we've also got Graylish coming in for Dali Alley. We can get a couple resting in there, of course, with a 5-1. But we can also try out some of the new talent. And that's a great ball across. And Atsu, who skipped in front of Davies there and grabbed the goal back. It's 5-2. It's a good header. It's a great cross. Um, but Davies not equal to it. Here's the ball again. I'm not sure who played. It looks like Kennedy. That's a brilliant ball across, and this is a good header down away. Good header there. 5-2. Couldn't get it to anybody except Rabio finds a way to collect it. It's Ericsson here. It's a good save by Dubravka. And it looks like with two and a half minutes to go, we are going to walk away with a victory on opening day. We got our debuts in. Everybody knew it come in. Come on. And it looks oh he's gonna get to that Ron Don and he's fired that over the top. 30 seconds to go and a 5-2 victory on opening day. We're gonna check the difficulty, but I'm pretty sure this is a very close to a one-off, as I'm pretty sure it's on legendary. And of course we will change the sliders if it gets too easy, but I think some of these were just a one-off. We just started really, really well, and we rode it all the way out. And there we are. That should leave us top the Premier League table, of course, until everybody else plays. But a 5-2 victory. It's very, very nice. And Millwall look to take uh, Sterling away here. Now, hopefully we can get some other things in. Make sure everybody's done and dusted. Hopefully with Danny Rose and Vincent Jansen. But we're going to take a look real quick at the settings and see if we're on Legendary or not. And we are on Legendary on five minutes. So, <laughs> I think it was just a quick early opening there. We're going to take a uh, take a look, see if anything happens. If Jansen and Danny Rose go, then we'll move into our left backs. We'll see what happens otherwise. But um, 
If not, then we're going to move into the Fulham game. So let's jump forward just a little bit. Okay, guys. So it looks like the offer for Danny Rose was retracted. And that one was 100% my fault. I didn't know I had to come in here and accept it after the guy said the delegation was good. But we got Vincent Jansen in time. So it looks like he'll be out the door. Um, and uh, if we get another offer for Danny Rose to come in, we'll have to take it and run with it. But it looks like Vincent Jansen is going to go out the door. And we are going to lose ourselves or gain ourselves a little bit of money. We're not moving him on. A couple of offers have come in for players who are going nowhere. As you can see, Dembele. Um, the other one being Deli Alley from Juventus. No chance. Um, and Trippier as well. Going nowhere. But if Vincent Jansen goes out, we'll see with Danny Rose. We may use him as make weight, possibly. But we'll see as uh, Vertonians has been retracted as well. So let's jump into it. We've got Fulham here. Um, looking to keep up our good start to the Premier League season here. Fulham, who have come up, spent themselves a lot of money. I really love that black jersey there. Not necessarily too much with the pants, but the black jersey I absolutely love. Um, but we're going to move forward. Let's jump into it. Fulham and Tottenham. Let's see if we can keep our good start going. They come right at you. It's very dangerous stuff. Deli Alley here, though. Can we break? And it's him, Ming Song. King Ming Song there. Can he open us a shot? And it's blocked to him, and it's Son. He gets an opportunity. The second opportunity there gives us the goal. It's 1 0. And Fulham, for how well they've been playing, are 1 0 down here. That was our first really good opportunity. We've had a couple good spaces, good moves here, but the last pass kind of uh, letting us down a little bit here. But King Ming Song, he had an attempt, and it fell right back to him, and he just toe pokes it back for Fricio. And it's a good goal. An early, well, not an early goal. Half hour gone, and it's a goal. 1 0. Decent football here. It's good football from Fulham. They are playing good football here. Oh, that's good football right there. And as you can see, and it's 1 1. That was really good football from Fulham. A lot of one touch passing. Not too much I could do about some of that. And Vieto finishes it up. They hit back right away. And it is going to be tough to finish this team off here. They're playing really well. And going forward, they're playing really well. They push forward, they press up high, and when they collect it, they are running at you. It's very difficult, and that's just good football. And then it's a good finish from Vieto here. 1-1. One, one. Oh, bad giveaway here. We cannot be doing that. Oh, look at that flick. <laughs> I thought we stuck in front of him. It looked like we were going to cut that pass off, and then he dragged it around his back there. And it's 2-1. Vieto with another goal. Runs off to the bench again. That was a good goal. And that flick was something else. That flick was really something else. I'm going to look at it again. Because that was something else. And Vieto with a good finish. Here we go. Looked like I cut that angle off. And he kind of stopped and flicked it around the back there. And Vieto with the finish. Not going to show it again. That was a lovely flick. And it completely undid me there. It's 2-1 to Fulham. We've got a little bit to do. Nicely done. Good football here, and it's Martial who's through. Martial, can he get the finish in here? Level this game up. Martial. Martial, and it's a goal. It's 2-2. Not going to collect it. That was... <laughs> that was tense stuff there. He had a lot of time to think about that. I had a lot of time to think about that. I thought he would come out a little bit. He looked like it was going to come out, slow down, and he just, outside of the boot, just lifted it into the corner there. And it's 2-2, and we've got time still to go ahead and grab ourselves a winner. A lot of one-touch stuff here from Fulham, who are playing really well still. Is he onside? Oh, what happened there? That looked like Lorius would collect that. How did he not? And again, they run to the bench. Jesus, is Sherla with the goal. The ex-Chelsea man. I imagine loves scoring against Tottenham there. But Jesus. I thought Lorries had that. Let's take a look again. This might be on Lorries, though. We did let Sherla get a free shot at it. Yes, Lorries. What's happened here? Ball comes out. And it's come back. To, look at all this one-touch passing. And surely. Lorries is doing a little bit better there. He just dove away from it, Loris. And we're, on, we're down again. And that is not quite good enough, is it? Out wide, it's Kane. Nice turn from Kane. It has an attempt, and what a strike that is from Harry Kane. 
and he's leveled the game up here. We're going to go grab that ball. We've got nine, ten minutes here to grab ourselves a winner. And look at this. That's a great turn inside, and that's a great strike right into the side netting. We've got ten minutes or so. It's 3-3. Three, three. Let's see if we can grab ourselves the winner. All right. Three minutes added on here. Not too long to go. And this is going to be it, it looks like, for opportunities. This is the last one. Find Sun. No foul, surely? No. Can he get there, Sun? And it's out, and it looks like this game is going to end 3-3. It's unfortunate. Should not have conceded that third goal. We really shouldn't have. Laurie's just dove. <laughs> he didn't have to. It was going to hit him there. And it finishes 3-3. Fulham playing quite well today, as you can see. Not too bad. Four shots on target. Three of them went in. And gave up too many chances. And we've also... I don't know, just not played well enough going forward. We had a couple chances we should have done better with, but it is what it is. So out the door go a couple points. An early draw for us here, and we'll see how we go. But we've got Manchester United next, the most difficult test to date in this Premier League season. So hopefully something comes of it, and Jansen is out the door. So we're going to take a look at our funds. And if Rose doesn't go out the door before the window closes, we won't move for a left back. But we'll move for a left back <clears throat> during the winter window if need be. 41 million there. I don't want to just buy a left back and have three around. We've got two good left backs, so it's unnecessary to really go out of our way to grab ourselves a left back. So we'll jump into the United game unless something comes up on the Rose thing. All right, guys, right before the United game, it looks like we have another outgoing at least. Gazaniga has had his release cause hit by racing club there so it looks like he may be going out the door i can't do anything about it not that i needed to necessarily we've got two decent goalkeepers as well as a third who um who's quite young so we'll see what actually happens if need be we can recall him i'm trying to get him out on loan and united had bid 90 million for um <laughs> Erickson who goes nowhere. So it looks like Gazanigo get a little bit more in the coffer if need be, of course, if we need to spend it. But, you know, just getting club players that don't need to be here out the door is pretty good. But we're going to keep up with our regular team here. Son, Kane, Lucas, Ali, Erickson, Dembele, Davies, Vertonian, Alderweireld, and Trippier uh, head of Lorries here. But we've got Manchester United. A 3-0 victory for Spurs in real life, though. United could have really... Given it to Spurs early on in that game, the first half was all United. It could have been 2-3-0 at halftime, but it wasn't, and Spurs took advantage. So let's jump into this, see if we can match that result. Nicely done. Emme Song finds Lucas, and can we get it back to Son here? Get it out wide. It's Deli Alley in space. Alley, and it's in. It's 1-0, and Tottenham lead here. And it is a good goal. I thought I made one extra pass. I didn't need to. I could have had an attempt with Son, but we got it back out to Deli Alley, and he put it right through his foot there. And it's 1 0 to. Uh, couldn't save that. It's a good, good finish there. And it's 1 0 early here. And it's a good start from us. Up front. They don't have that physical presence. Lukaku isn't playing, and it's Jamie Vardy who's playing up front as of right now with Rashford. So we're going to have to. Play a different type of game here than the normal physical one that we'd have to deal with with Lukaku. Back in, and there it is. It is half time, and it's 1 0 here. Deli Alley's goal separating the two sides. And United haven't had too much going forward, as you can see. No shots. It's been a lot of crosses. They're playing as if they have Lukaku up there instead of Vardy. It's very strange. They keep trying crosses into Linga, or I think it's Link. Uh, I think it's Lingard outright. That we keep trying crosses into Lingard and Jamie Vardy, and it's coming to nothing. It's a very strange tactic. And he has an early attempt, and whew, not too far away from Dembele here. If we can just keep up what we're doing defensively, we can win this game. We're gonna win this game if we keep it up defensively. Oh, it's a good ball out here. It's Rashford. Rashford cuts inside. And it's pushed away. And he's come and collected it. And oh, Laurie said come out a little bit. I'm not sure he needed to. And United have leveled up. As soon as I said we just have to play well defensively. Oh my god. 
right? They didn't think Rashford would get that one, but I didn't think Loris would come out like that. That was so unnecessary. It's deflected away, and he came out, and he has to get that. If he's going to go out and get it, he has to get it. And it's just pushed back. Pavon pushes it back for Rashford. Ah, that's a bad goal to concede there. It's 1-1. Nice ball out wide. That's a good reverse ball as well. It's Erickson. Slides it across, and it's a good deflection away from the defender there. And he's had an early attempt. First time, or just took that one little touch. Not too far away. Oh, wow. That went right off the bar. Lorries came out and didn't collect it again, and then we gave it away. And United have taken the lead. Come on. What is going on with Lorries? That's a couple times has been a little bit weird i mean i'm not gonna 100 percent blame him on that we gave the ball away but he came out once again and got nowhere near it that's three mistakes in a row for goals now for loris and that's driving me up a wall you should have come and collected that and that's a bad giveaway there should have first time with hingming song it's a good finish but my god loris we got to relax just a little bit gave away the first one he came out didn't need to Gave him an open net, and now came for that corner. Didn't get anywhere near it. Deli Alley trying to find something. Gets it back to him. Erickson. Can he find Deli Alley? Yes, he can. Deli Alley turned, and he just didn't shoot. And we are going to come away with no points. Bad result. I'm not, I'm not like a bad result, necessarily. Just... A bad way to lose that game. Dreadful goals conceded. And Loris is <laughs> bugging me a little bit. A 6.3. He came for that first one. Shouldn't have. The second one, I'm not going to blame him completely on. But he should have collected the corner. If you're going to get out, go collect the corner. I don't understand. And that's put us in a really not a good start to the season it really isn't it could be better we started off really well against newcastle put five by them and then a three three in which Lori's made another mistake there and i don't know what's going on but we're gonna have to fix it aren't we but we've got darby next and then the end of the window um ah we got another transfer offer for denny rose we're just gonna accept this and um, move forward with that. But it looks like we're going to have to get ourselves a left back. I'm going to look at some left backs. And we'll see what happens moving forward. But before the end of the window, it looks like we're going to get ourselves another left back in. And Crystal Palace with a attempt in or at a, a bid in and 15 million there. And whew, a lot of bids coming in now for Danny Rose. So we'll see. But guys, that's going to end the video. We'll check out who we play next time around. Darby. And then we're off for a little bit right i don't know then we got the rest of the week and then we're off so watford before the end and then we got liverpool and then after that we've got the champions league to come and a couple other games going so we're gonna have to pick up our season just a little bit quicker than we are as of right now we'll take a look at where we are on the table four points from threes not exactly where i wanted to be um but i mean trying to find the silver lining in this we just haven't played well um so we'll take a look we're in seventh who's up top oh none of the big teams we're ahead of all the big teams as, as a matter of fact manchester city dead last no wins from three let's see what city did they lost two nil to arsenal a two one loss at home to huddersfield and then a two nil loss to wolves so Okay, well, we'll see, but Arsenal, the only team ahead of us, three wins from three. We'll have to move forward and see if we can patch that up. That is going to be the end of the video. I hope you folks enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more, and peace.